Hi, I'm Monica, and you're watching The Boombox. Code Red is an album that's special to me because we're in a state of a very different type of music and formats being more popular, more relevant, more talked about. I named the album Code Red because I felt like it was time to bring attention back to a music and a genre of music that I love very, very much. I grew up in it, I started in it, and it's helped me through a lot of different things in my life and I feel like that music is still very important. So Code Red was just me saying, hey, Let's pay attention to this type of music as well. I don't feel like anything is wrong with what is most popular right now. I just think that this music as well should still be respected and loved. And it should be a music that this generation also knows and hears and understands. The inspiration comes from the lack thereof. You know, it's not, it's not heard as often and it's not felt the way it was, especially in the 90s when I came out. It was the kind of music that no matter what was going on in your life, you could find a CD or a song, well back then cassette, or a song that meant a lot to you, that was able to speak to your spirit and really speak to you as you were going through different things, whether it be good or bad. I didn't face any struggles while recording Code Red because I was really focused and I made the decision to kind of revert back to my younger self in the sense that when we worked on this thing, my first album and The Boy's Mind, the second album, I was really tuned in to just the people and the music. I make the music for the people. So sometimes as you get older, you start to think too much and you start overanalyzing and, and, and just not using what's important in music, which is just feeling. You know, as creative as it is, it's all about feeling and touching someone else. So if you can't even penetrate or touch your own soul with your music, then it's not gonna work for other people as well. So I really reverted back to how I used to be, shut out all the political aspects of it, shut out all the business parts of it when it came to the actual music and just focused on it. I do have a lot of good memories from the recording session. Of course, anytime my kids are there, there are gonna be some memories made because their personalities are all so different. And one of the things that I remember uh, is my daughter. I always have taken the kids in when they were that size and I would let them sit in my lap as I sang. It was something that really soothed them. But my daughter sings back. She refuses to just, you know, listen and lay. She's so into the music that she just started singing back and it ended up being hilarious. But there are a lot of good moments, like being in the studio, um, with Carrie and Polo and Timbaland and us bouncing ideas off of one another or meeting Danger for the first time and being in Miami just working on records, record after record until the sun came up and being able to just go outside and see beauty and feel the warmth and just walk around and just enjoy recording again. That's an important part of the process because when you're not in love with it, the music just doesn't connect. And I was really in love with music again while recording this album. Hi, I'm Monica, and my latest album, Code Red, is in stores right now. Y'all get it today.